gonna turn this pile of lumber and this empty space into a beautiful off-grid shower in the middle of the woods surrounded by moss, but with a twist. Quack. All day long I'm smiling, I'm happy all the time. That sun keeps on shining, and it's got me feeling fine. Today is an absolutely dreamy fall winter day. It could be a lot colder and you're probably wondering why the heck are you building a shower at this time of year? Well, we've been wanting to do this for many years and it looks like lately we're getting very productive and checking a lot of big projects off the list. All right, we got a rectangle. An eight by 10 rectangle. What's in there, Bear? Oh! <laughs> I scared you! I scared you! Now that we have our base, it's time to make the joists, which are the boards that go in between all the way along to keep it nice and sturdy. Come on. 92 and a quarter. We are square. If you guessed outdoor tub because of the hint of a rubber ducky, Quack. you're smart. It's not just any tub though. That was tough, but we made a decision. A lot of back and forth and moving of the tub. I am just such a visual person. I cannot see it unless I put it in the spot. So, tub is gonna go right there. And what we're gonna do, is we're gonna find pavers to go underneath the tub, and then we're going to build joists around it. That way our decking board will go flush to the tub. I can feel it deep down in my bones. I'm a happy soul. So what did you do there? I am scribing the bottom of that to the angle of that piece of wood and I'm going to cut that angle and I will have an angled piece of wood. Carpenter. <laughs> Angles. Carpenter crystal! Alright. How did I just think of that now? <laughs> you can't help me, can you? Of course I can help you. Guess who else can help you? The pack can help. Ready pack, we hold for crystal. Ready? Yeah, we're ready. Right. What do you say to us and pack? Give her. Thank you. <laughs> Will it fit? Of course it will. Oh. I'm Carpenter Crystal. <laughs> Not gonna lie, y'all, we're winging this build. We have so much confidence after building that woodshed. We're like, let's build it. Let's just build it. We're gonna build it. How many times can I say build in a sentence? I'm gonna show you my drawing. Do we still have that drawing? What it looks like. Crystal was like, what is this? Anyways, we're following it, and I would say it's going great. Y'all fell over. Thank you, Clementine. I need three of these. When I first envisioned living off-grid out here, I definitely imagined a beautiful outdoor shower and bath area. And now, after all these years, it's coming to life. It is so sweet. I cannot wait to use this area. And it's super nice because next summer, it's going to be ready for us. But this tub, we can also use in the winter. Try to find some new words here, other than it looks amazing. It's so beautiful, even though that's all I want to say because I'm super happy with it already. That's the cloth of crystalline too. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. What, what, what else can I say here? <laughs> so self-conscious about my words. <laughs> <laughs> Complete. All we need to do now is put the skis underneath the platform. That way the platform is not sitting on the ground because there's gonna be a lot of water in this area and we want to preserve it for as long as we can. So we might as well keep it up off the ground. And we're on the decking boards in one day, everyone. That view behind you is so nice. And you get to have a bath and look at it. The moss. What time is it? It's leveling time. And for the first time in my life, I'm dreading it. Why? <laughs> I want the leveling to be over, because I'm excited. Definitely have to fix that. For someone who doesn't want to level, you sure are going hard. <laughs> yeah, I can get into it. Because there's going to be a lot of water activity on here, we want to slope it just by a little bit, not too water much. Activity. So next time I go shower, I'm gonna be like, I've got water activities for 15 minutes. <laughs> it's a new showering thing. Anyways, we wanna make sure it's going on a slope or so that way it doesn't just sit on the decking boards because that's not good. So I think if it is a quarter inch, we should be okay. Ready? Wait, look at your level. Down a bit. That's exactly what we wanna see. 
Bellinissi would like to tell you all about today's sponsor, Newton Pet Beds. These are the nicest dog beds that Bella and Izzy have ever had, and they are old ladies. They've gone through quite a few dog beds. They're made to be 100% breathable for temperature regulating, to reduce panting and overheating. Not only are they super durable, but they're also washable. No other pet bed with a real supportive core is 100% washable, but these beds you can unzip, put the cover in the wash, soak or wash the inside core in the shower or a bathtub, and it is good as new. I wish we knew about these dog beds earlier. Bella and Izzy deserve the world, as do all of your dogs. What makes these beds so great is that they have orthopedic support for every dog of every age, from young puppies with growing bones to our older girls who need extra joint support. And the inside core is not only washable, but it's not foam and not made from cheap materials. In fact, it's a woven air mattress, the same materials that Newton uses for their baby crib mattresses. Bella is 69 pounds and she's in a large, extra large bed. Izzy is 52 pounds and fits nicely in a medium sized bed. And Bella and Izzy have the best deal for all of you and your dogs. Use code VANWIVES for 20% off your own Newton pet bed. Use the link in our description to get to that page. Ready? Ready. Fun time. Break. Tamper. Since the tub isn't sitting on the deck now, we are adding a layer of crush, then the patio stones, and then the tub. It's going to be sturdy. Dry fitting the tub, we've set it in the deck. Now Jasmine is going to take on the role of plumbing, because she's the ultimate plumber, and plumb the drain out away from the tub into the forest. So there is the drain. Okay, it's already getting dark, so we're making the most of our time. Crystal is inside cooking us up some chili. Ain't nothing like a can of chili. And I'm going to start laying the decking boards because we are finally at the stage of doing that. I'm so happy. I've been waiting all day for this, everyone. I got one decking board down and I'm already getting called for dinner. And I have a feeling it is going to be pitch black by the time we finish eating. Oh man, winter. You all know how much we love winter. Thank you. Bon appetit. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I go outside again. See you tomorrow. Why would you go that way? For how much building we do together and work we do together, we still go opposite. All right, let's do it. Good morning. Good morning. Start the post. Let's just show them where we're at. Decking boards are down. Time to go up. Almost. Yeah, but they don't need to know. Okay. Just gonna cut them. It's boring. Is that a dead battery? Sounds like a horse, eh? <laughs> Yay! Well, I guess she wanted to show you the boring stuff. We're just cutting the edges off. Couldn't see last night, so uh, skip that step. Is it just me or is this happening so quickly? Holy smokes, I feel like we've blinked an eye. And just check this out, like it's looking so, so good. Bless you. <laughs> Once again, Mildwood is making this look 10 out of 10, perfect rustic. I love it so much. Every little piece is so different and unique. And the way this tub is sitting in the deck, stellar decision. We weren't gonna do this originally and that's why I kind of love just kind of going with the project as we do. Try to imagine what this is gonna look like with some beautiful wood lining that tub. Believe me, you will see us stepping in there in this video. Aren't you the cutest? On the trampoline, is he? Love you. I'm measuring four posts that are gonna make two walls by cutting off the bottom so that it has a seat right where I'm sitting here. And we will secure it to the base. And we're going up. Posts. Oh. You forgot your level again, didn't you? Yep. Can you pass me a level? <laughs> Classic. Thank you. Welcome.
Wow. My favorite part of any build is when the posts and the framing start to go up because you really just see the shape and you can all see the vision. It is going to be so helpful to have another place to shower in our tiny cabin behind me. We only have one very small bathroom. It's actually smaller than our outdoor bathroom. Not gonna lie, my brain just made that connection right now. And we have so many visitors all the time. I think we only had probably a week of no visitors here, like literally seven days I feel like this summer. The rest were just with visitors and it's very difficult with just one shower. So I can't wait for them all to use this beautiful space. Walls. Crystal said we couldn't get Clementine. Rude. Someone wants to be a part of this. Ow, tree, just stop me in the bush. Izzy, are your mamas doing a good job? Just wondering, how does it look from up here, queen? Bella, you're a queen too. Yeah, you're so cute, bear. There's a face bear. You lip, you're biting your lips. She said, get back to work. Wall one, complete. I'm looking at it the opposite way, and it is so dreamy with the pine trees and the fir trees just hanging over. The sun is gonna leave us so soon. I need to get this second wall up in a jiffy. I ran out of wood. We might actually have some spare wood. I should go t check the tornado wood pile. Something has to work in here. One, two, three, four, five. We did it. Okay, I gotta bring it all over now. PRB. And I don't have Clementine. She ran out of diesel. And Krista went to go get her diesel. So it's just me and them. Lem's thirsty. 20 liters of blue apple juice coming right up. What does every bathroom have? A water supply. Well, you hope. <laughs> we didn't have that at the beginning. Okay, back on track. Crystal is going to be trenching some water lines from our hose, which is at the back of the cabin, all the way to the outdoor shower. Crystal get so good in the tractor. It's been not even five minutes and she's halfway done digging our trench. Wow. She's been practicing, I think. That's my mama. <laughs> I'm ready to take a bath already. Okay, well, Crystal finishes up digging the trench. I'm gonna go to Head Start on plumbing our little faucet. Isn't that so cute? Never plumbed the tub before. But I think I got it. Nice. Out my head. Dope. Messy, but easier. Not like it matters if it leaks out here. It all. Nice trench. Why, thank you. We're not doing that tonight. Are we? <laughs> you're looking eager. Well, you're walking over here. I was like, oh God. <laughs> to be honest, y'all, I feel like I miss you. We only really spend half a day <laughs> with you now. We don't get to spend five till 9 p.m. anymore because I don't think it'd be that enjoyable. All I do is sit on the couch. I'm sure all of you are just sitting there too. Winter, eh? See you all tomorrow for plumbing. I'm gonna go sit on my couch now. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. It is finally plumbing day. We have run our hot and our cold lines out of the cabin and now Crystal has jumped in Clementine to get us that much closer to the lines coming down. So it looks nice and neat and tidy. We're going to be running our water lines to the shower in no time. We might even be able to get in the tub tonight. I haven't had a jacuzzi bath in six years. This is something else, everyone. So close to the cabin. Don't hit the house. Keep it coming. 
Yeah, down, down. You're like that close. Little Nick turns out blackwood siding, takes getting hit by a backhoe like a champ. Hardly a ding. Hot line, cold lines up there. Clementine Jr. <laughs> you look like her with that hat on. <laughs> we live in a very rocky area and we're putting pecs in the ground. So we need to make sure all the big rocks are not going to be on the pecs. Pex is very strong and it does last 50 years in the ground. So it's pretty good to use, but getting the rocks that will definitely allow it to last longer or not puncture or bend the line. That way the water will run nice and smooth back and forth. I hope we have enough packs. I'm really doubting it right now. It's gonna have one line. Wow, it really turns, eh? How many trenches have we dug? Too many. Get her. Get her. We made it to the shower. Trench is covered. We'll make it pretty another day. The sun is shining in on us now, warming us up. You know, warm? The sun is warming me up right now. <laughs> to be honest with you all, we bought all of this material in May. 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 It was one of the wood piles that you saw in our real Kevin Life tour. So we're just cleaning up our yard before winter, right? That's why. And I gotta say, oh my gosh, the sun. <gasps> so beautiful. I am definitely gonna be soaking in here all the time because this tub ain't just a tub. Love it. It's snowing! <laughs> it's so pretty. First snowfall. The cabin black. It's gonna be so pretty in the winter. We were told it was going to be 10 degrees and sunny. Looks like we got something much different. We are going to be doing the finishing touches, everyone. On days like today, you've gotta keep it moving and grooving. Time to make a bunch of cuts. Oh, give me snow, give me snow, give me snow. The most exciting part about this step is we are so close to getting in that hot, bubbling, beautiful water. <laughs> Luxury. Wow, it already looks amazing. Trim. It takes good to great. For the very first snowfall, I gotta say, she's really giving her. She hasn't stopped yet. It's not spitting snowflakes. It's really snowing and Bella's covered in snow. Bella, you're covered in snow, my girl. Okay. I'm in the tub. It's looking pretty fabulous, everyone. <laughs> I had to just put the camera up because it's absolutely snowing right now. It might even stay on the ground, y'all. Sparky. I lift nothing. <laughs> Chris is calling me ridiculous. That's all you can see for now. You have to wait for the grand reveal. Now it's time for the grand reveal. Everything you haven't seen. We hung a mirror, we have plants, candles, a hook for your towels, and it is just looking so perfect. This outdoor shower we know is not the star of the show, but we just need to touch on that for a second. This is gonna be a game changer. We currently have one shower and we have multiple people here. It's gonna be super helpful to have two showers. Coming around the corner just now, I am blown away. It is absolutely perfect. Every detail, the view behind me, all this beautiful moss, 
cold winter day and I cannot wait to get in that hot steaming tub. But considering we got this for free or for a trade, we're really crossing our fingers and our toes that they work. So we're gonna plug them in for the first time and turn the water on. Good thing you have rubber shoes on. Oh! <laughs> Is this real life? As if they were gonna just throw this away. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dream! Oh my goodness. Is this real? And the best part is, is we don't have to wait for it to heat up because we ran the hot water lines here. So you literally fill it up like a bathtub, turn on the jacuzzis and hop in. On demand! On demand, baby! Okay, I'm getting in. <laughs> Quack. <laughs> 